Hi, I'm Betty Parker. I'm the Area Director of Catholic Housing Services, and I want to welcome you to the opening and blessing of the Thea Bowman Apartments. This project is Catholic Community Services' newest permanent supportive housing here in Kent, Washington, serving veterans and single men and women who have been challenged by homelessness. We are so excited to have you join us today to see this wonderful place that many have worked so hard to create. Thank you. I am Sharonda Duncan, and I am the program director at Thea Bowman Apartments. I also want to welcome you to our opening of the Thea Bowman Apartments. As we begin our celebration, we want to respectfully acknowledge and recognize the coastal indigenous people who are the traditional owners and custodians of the land that our building is built on. We pay our respects to them for the great care of this land. I now want to introduce you to Dan Wise, the deputy director of Catholic Community services of King County to share a bit about this project. Thank you. Hello, I am Dan Wise, Deputy Director of Catholic Community Services of King County. The Thea Beaumont Apartments provides 80 units of permanent supportive housing for veterans and other adults who have experienced homelessness and need ongoing in-home support. Our organization has worked in Kent and the greater South King County area for many years, and this building is a direct response to the deep need for supportive housing that we have seen in this community. Working in partnership with the City of Kent, King County, the Veterans Administration, and the King County Housing Authority, we are excited to offer a place to call home to people from this community who have been accessing our emergency shelters and day centers in their struggle to get off the streets. Thea Bowman offers beautiful, affordable apartments for people living in poverty, along with on-site case management, 24-7 front desk, visiting medical providers, and community building activities. All of these supports are focused on helping tenants maintain their housing, connect to their community, and achieve their goals. When I'm asked, how do you help someone who's homeless, or how do we end homelessness? The answer is really quite simple. It's help them get into a home, give them housing. And particularly for folks who've been out on the street for a long time, or folks such as those being housed here, who are veterans who have disabilities as well, the answer is housing and community services and peer support. And that's exactly what the Thea Bowman provides, good quality, affordable, supportive housing for folks who need it. My hat is off to Catholic Housing Services. They do a terrific job. We need to be ribbon cutting on one of these types of communities every week. Uh, only that way will we actually end homelessness. This is a win for the community. This is a win for the taxpayer because it is far less expensive than dealing with homelessness on the streets. And most importantly, it is a win for the people who will be living here. And for those who are veterans who are coming in from the cold, I can truly say thank you for your service. And we are delighted at the Housing Authority to partner with Catholic Housing Services, we will be putting almost a million dollars a year into the operation and supporting this facility for it is the right thing to do. Congratulations and on to the next project. Good morning. I am Kent Mayor Dana Ralph, and I am so excited to be coming to you, even if it is virtually, on the grand opening celebration of the Thea Bowman House on the West Hill here in Kent. I want to start with a huge thank you to Catholic Community Services for, for bringing this much needed resource to our community. We know that permanent supportive housing is probably really the only path for a lot of our chronically homeless folks out of living on the street, out of living in, ten in tents, into what is their home. The 80 units that this project provides to our community is 
the value of it is immeasurable. Giving people back their dignity, giving people back their hope, and recognizing that they need support and services on, on an ongoing basis. And that's what this project provides. So I have to say, I love the focus on vets. Um, we, we, owe, we owe this to our veterans, folks that have stood up and defended our way of life for so many years. And we know that there's extra service that goes along with that. So again, I just want to say thank you to Catholic Community Services. This is the first permanent supportive housing project in South King County. And I am extremely proud that Kent um, is the home for this project and now the home for for 80 people that that need that extra love and support to help them be a successful part of our society, right? We know that they never left that, but the reassurance that that their community cares enough to make sure that they're housed. I feel like that that's something that we need to be proud of and celebrate that this work is being done. It's taken a lot of partnerships to get here, uh, a lot of agencies, a lot of organizations stepping up and partnering with CCS to make this project real. The fact that uh, we've got folks that are already moved in and can now proudly say, I have a home. Like I said, we can't understate the value of that. So thank you to all involved. Thank you to Catholic Community Services. Thank you for recognizing that all of our community members deserve a roof over their head, a safe place to be, and the supports to help them be successful. So congratulations on the opening of the Thea Bowman House. Hi, I'm Kent City Council Member Brenda Fincher, and I'm also a member of Holy Spirit Catholic Church, where we partner with Catholic Community Services on our women's shelter. We are so happy that you're here with us today. But I am here to talk to you about the namesake of this apartment complex, Sister Thea Bowman. Bertha Elizabeth Bowman was born in Yazoo City, Mississippi in December of 1937 into a Methodist household. Her grandparents enslaved, her father a physician and her mother a teacher. Can you imagine the reaction they must have had when she came to them asking their permission to become a Catholic? They agreed and she converted. She would later become a religious sister in the order of Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration, taking the name Thea upon entering the novitiate. Thea meaning of God and also close to her father's name, Theon. Sister Thea is one of six US black Catholics in the process of becoming a saint. She had a strong drive to preach the gospel of God's love and forgiveness and racial reconciliation. This included the time she spoke to the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops and had them on their feet, arms crossed, singing and swaying to the gospel beat as she led them in singing, We Shall Overcome, while fully decked out in her African attire, as she often was. You can see this on YouTube because if you know the bishops, that is truly an amazing moment. She was a scholar, a PhD, an evangelist, a preacher, a writer, a singer, and much, much more. She legitimized a form of worship and spirituality held in black Catholics and encouraged many to live their true and authentic selves. She bought her ministry of joy along with her culture, with her wherever she went, in this country and abroad. She recognized and valued everyone as a child of God. And she wanted Catholics to hold on to their culture and to remember they were one in Christ. She worked right up until the end when she died in 1990 of cancer. She was still singing, writing, making appearances, everything right up until the end. She has many buildings, organizations, foundations, and so on named after her as the, showing the impact that she had and still continues to have. She is still Miss Today. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Bill Hallerman and I'm the Agency Director with Catholic Community Services. And it's my pleasure to get to say some thank yous to all the folks that made this project uh, possible. I wanna start by thanking Archbishop Aitchen and Father Brad uh, Higlin for their amazing support of both Catholic Community Services and Catholic Housing Services. 
in our work to help uh, vulnerable folks throughout Western Washington. They've been great uh, supporters of our work and we're thankful for that and also thank them for being here for the blessing today. Uh, I also want to thank Deacon Joseph uh, Connor and Cheryl Mitchell, who's doing the music, uh, for being here for the blessing. So thank you. I want to recognize our partners, our funding partners for the project, um, starting with the City of Kent and Mayor Ralph and the Kent City Council and Kurt Hansen, all the folks in the building and the planning department there and the human services um, folks there. Their support of building a permanent supportive housing project in South King County has been crucial. So thank you so much. I want to thank King County, both uh, Dow Constantine and, and uh, members of the King County uh, Council, and also their wonderful staff who've put a lot of funding into the project, um, Leo Floor and Mark Ellerbrook and Kate Speltz and Janice Haugen and all of their team that have been uh, so helpful to us. Uh, Stephen Norman and um, uh, Christy Johnson from the King County Housing Authority, I want to thank them. They have um, put Section 8s into this project. And the first time I talked to Stephen Norman about this uh, project, he said, Bill, I will help in any way that I can to make this happen in South King County. And he was good uh, to his word. So thank you, uh, Stephen, um, and for Christy, too. We appreciate it. Um, as you know, there's 38 veterans units um, in the project. So I want to thank the VA, especially the VA Puget Sound Health Care System, for their great uh, support. Uh, our project also got funding from the state of Washington, from both the Department of Commerce and the Washington State Housing Finance uh, Commission. So a huge thank yous to them for making this uh, happen. Impact Capital um, was also a part of our pre-development funding. Uh, they made the project happen, so thank you uh, to them. Our equity partner has been Raymond James, and uh, Dan Wendell with them has been a huge help um, as they've uh, contributed the tax credit support for the project. Um, now, the actual building of the project, uh, the S SMR architects were our architects on the project. So a big thanks to Doug Ito and Megan Espinosa and all the folks uh, there who, who did such a great job in this beautiful, beautiful building. Um, Marpac Construction is who built this beautiful building. Um, so a special thanks to, to Cy and all the folks at Marpac who've done just such a wonderful um, job uh, with this. Umca Bank provided the construction financing for the project, so thanks to them and to Cantor Taylor, who were our legal team. And finally, I want to recognize all of the staff at Catholic Community Services and Catholic Housing Services who made this project possible. Michelle Umbehe, Elizabeth Murphy, and Chris Jow from CHS, um, who were the lead developers and, and put the project together. Uh, Eileen McComb, Emily Meyer, Dan Wise, Sharonda and Betty, and all the CCS folks and CHS folks that will be working um, at the Bowman Apartments for all the, the wonderful work that they uh, do each day with the folks that we serve. So thank you to all of those folks. I'm sorry it was such a long list, but there's just lots of folks to thank. So thank you all so much. Welcome to Thea Bowman. My name is Betty Parker. I'm the area director here, and I'd like to show you a little tour of our building and what we have to offer. This is our front desk, and when people come in here, we all sign in and get your temp taken. This is the VASH office right here, where our VASH caseworkers will be working. This is our CCS case manager office. Hi, Rachel. Hello. This is where we help our clients. Our next place that we offer for any of our uh, new tenants, or if they want to look up jobs, or they just want to look up anything, this is for them. This is our meeting room where we do the intakes. This is where the magic happens. This is the place that we sit down with our future tenants, clients of CCS, BASH clients, and we go through the paperwork, which takes about an hour, and they get to ask any questions. We spend a lot of quality time. And then after this part, we show them their unit they get to see, so they can see why we're excited.
welcome to our community room where our clients and our tenants can gather together and share information, get to know each other. We have an industrial kitchen. Um, our tenants can cook, just enjoy quality time together. Here's a little welcome that children from St. Francis made for our clients to make them feel welcomed when they come here. So all the offices on this floor are for the administrative purposes. Um, we have CCS, we have property management, we have BASH. So all together, we all work together for our clients and our tenants. Now I would like to take you upstairs to give you a tour of an apartment. So we are entering a one bedroom and as you can see on my left, here is a full bathroom. Very nice bathroom. This one has a tub with a shower as well as some shelving. So all of our units come with a microwave and a full refrigerator with a freezer. So when the resident arrives, Cynthia Bowman, in their apartment will be a welcome basket that we put together and that are donated from our funders and donations from the community. And we like, to, we like for all of our residents to feel welcome. So it comes with a table and two chairs so they can see the beautiful landscape. So if you follow me into our room bedroom, all of our apartments are fully furnished. It comes with a dresser and a brand new a brand new bed with pillows and in our welcome basket are the sheets and the comforter sets. So when a resident arrives, it's very important for us to put together their apartment so they do feel like home because we know that it's hard enough for our residents who are coming off the streets to not have anything and then to feel that pressure of having to furnish your apartment have groceries and come up with, you know, the money for a comforter and things. So that's why it's very important. And we really work hard with our funders and the people who are giving donations so we can furnish the apartments for our residents. Here at the Theo Bowman Apartments, there are 80 units. 11 of those units are one bedrooms and 69 of those units are studio apartments, which 36 units are dedicated to our veterans who are coming out of homelessness and the other 44 units are coming from our coordinated entry for all process. So if you follow me now, we'll be going into our third floor community space. So it was important for all of the floors to have a community room, for all of the residents who are residing on the floor to be able to have a place where they can watch TV, they can sit down and um, have a sense of community with their neighbors. Our second and third floor community rooms do not have kitchens, but as you can see, they are furnished with tables and chairs, and that's just for our residents to be able to sit and enjoy the company of their neighbors. And thank you for joining me on this part of the tour. Turn the light on here. This one has a full kitchen. Our tenants here can gather maybe in a smaller group and enjoy some cooking and talking and so it's a nice space and these what's unique about these stoves is they do turn off after an hour so there's safety features involved right now we're going to go into our laundry room and this is the place where people can do their laundry when we have the machines <laughs> this is where the magic happens this is where the magic happens another magic room the machines so, are amazing. The machines will be coming. 
<laughs> so where we're gonna go next is one of our most exciting places here. And it's not just for people. So let's go see what it is. This is our dog run. And this is for tenants to bring their dogs out. Not only for a dog run, but for tenants to get to know each other and also the dogs to get to know each other. Thank you for joining us today at the Bowman Apartments. We are so glad that you joined us and we hope to see you in the future. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with this house and with all who live here. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we gather today in this new housing unit, this Thea Bowman home for people that are transitioning from homelessness for our veterans, we give thanks to God for such a marvelous gift and for those who have made this housing possible. So as we gather to dedicate and to bless this space, let us turn to the Lord in prayer. When Christ took flesh through the Blessed Virgin Mary, he made his home with us. Let us now pray that he will enter this home and bless it with his presence. May he always be here among you. May he nurture your love for each other share in your joys, comfort you in your sorrows. Inspired by his teachings and example, seek to make this new home before all else a dwelling place of love, diffusing far and wide the goodness of Christ. And let us listen now to God's word. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Brothers and sisters, listen to the words of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord has said to the 72, into whatever house you enter first, peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on them but if not, it will return to you. Stay in the house, the same house, and eat and drink what is offered to you. For the laborers deserve his payment. Do not move about from house to house. Whatever town you enter, and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, the kingdom of God is at hand. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Light shines through the darkness of the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. Just man. shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. The just man is alive in the darkness to the light. The just man is steadfast he shall not fear lavishly he gives to the poor his justice still endures forever his horn shall be exalted in glory Just man. Just a few words based upon our, our scriptures today in light of this wonderful occasion of blessing and dedicating this home, this place of rest for those in need. We know that Jesus came into the world uh, to manifest the presence of God in a way that we could recognize. And he came to save us. He came as the just man, a light in the darkness. And he commissions those of us who believe in him to go into the world in the same way. And that is the mission of the church, is to continue to bring this light of the risen Christ into the world, and particularly to those who live in darkness, for those who are struggling with the challenges and the burdens of life. And that continually through the centuries, through the millennia, has been one of the primary works of the church to not only continue the sacramental life, to continue to preach the word of God, but through our acts of charity to give witness to the presence of Christ by the way we live our lives. And I'm just so grateful for the work of our Catholic community services and all of our staff and volunteers that are associated with the great charitable work of our church through this organization. And today it is such a joy to now have this residence here in Kent for those who are in need. And we're very grateful for the staff who will staff this residence. And we know that they will be a light uh, for the individuals who dwell here. So part of our work as church is to bless God's people, but also to bless spaces that we recognize Christ is present in, and that Christ wants to continue to make his presence felt to his people. And so that is the process of a blessing of a new home, is to recognize the indwelling of Christ in the people who live in the home as well as the home itself. So please join us as we continue our prayer today and in giving thanks to God for this Thea Bowman house, this residence here, for those who will dwell here in the days and months and years to come. 
the Son of God, the Lord of heaven and earth, made his home among us. With thankfulness and gladness, let us now call upon him, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Our, our response would be, stay with us, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, by your life with Mary and Joseph, you sacrificed the life of the home. Dwell with us in this house so that those who live here will have you as their guest and honor you as their head. For this we pray. Stay, Stay with, with us, us Lord. Lord. In your every dwelling grows into a holy temple that those who live in these rooms may be built up together into the dwelling place of God in the Holy Spirit. For this we pray. Stay with us, Lord. You taught your followers to build their houses upon solid rock. Grant that those who come to this house may hold fast to your teachings and free of all discard, serve you with their whole heart. For this we pray. Stay with us, Lord. You had no place to lay your head, but in uncomplaining poverty, you accepted the hospitality of your friends. Grant that through our help, people who are homeless may obtain decent housing. For this we pray. Stay with us, Lord. Lord, be close to your servants who will live in these homes and who ask for your blessing. Be their shelter when they are at home, their companion when they are away, and their welcome guest when they return. And at last, receive them into the dwelling place you have prepared for them in your Father's house, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the peace of Christ rule in all of our hearts, and may the word of Christ in all its richness dwell within us, so that whatever we do in word or in work, we will do in the name of the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Glorifying the Lord by our life. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you. Thank you.